when students feel like people in their school are kind? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think you might even feel this yourself. Have you ever been in a place or tried out for something that maybe you felt people weren't being very kind? And was it kind of not fun to be there? And did you want to go back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what if you went to a place that people were kind and uh, shared smiles with you? Would you want to go back? Mm -hmm. We find that in schools, that's very true too. Mm -hmm. Is that when, when people are kind to each other in schools, the students want to come and we have very good attendance. Attendance means how many people are absent. So we have very good attendance in a school that's very kind. Mm -hmm. um, question number two, will you ask it for a salute? On the right side, is attendance bad? Is attendance bad when students are sad or don't enjoy school? Yes, it can absolutely affect whether or not somebody wants to come to school. Let's just put on our pretend caps for a second, and we're going to oh. play a new ball game called Pillow Toss. And you're trying out for Pillow Toss for the very first time, and everybody else on the team has been playing for a very long time, and they're very, very good. So you go, you try out, and maybe you're not as good as everyone else because you've never played before. Now, let's say that the people on the team were very nice to you. Oh, you're no good. You're never going to be a part of our team. Would you want to go back the next day and try again? No. No. And if it happened at school, would you feel like you didn't want to go back? Mm -hmm. You probably feel like you didn't want to go back. But the thing is, do you need to go to school? Mm -hmm. Your parents bring you to school? You have to go to school? You do unless you're sick. So you come to school, but you don't want to be there. That's an easy way to start making some bad choices. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You come and you have a frown you're feeling sad or feeling angry, that's when some bad choices are harder, are, are, are easier to make. I'll just say it that way. It's easier to make good choices when you feel happy, and it's easier to make bad choices when you don't. So. Mm -hmm. Lily, will you ask number three for us? Uh-huh. Do you notice when students are sad, they be, behave or behave? behave worse. Very well done. Yes, we do notice that when students are sad, they behave worse. Um, and that kind of breaks our hearts a little bit because we know that um, they're behaving, maybe making some poor choices because they're feeling sad, um, because they are not feeling um, that anyone has shared a smile with them that day or you know they're just having a rough morning and they can't turn their morning around. So we know that that behavior is related to how they're feeling, um, but uh, but they make that bad choice anyway. So they do behave uh, many times, um, have a harder time making good choices when they're feeling sad. Struggle a lot. That's a tough question to answer. I because I think um, everybody, one time or another, um, has had a rough day and maybe didn't make the best choices. You think that might be true? I think so. Even as a grown up, sometimes we might have a rough day and not make the best choices, and that sometimes can get us in trouble. Um, but yes, sometimes we do see that, that some children have a really hard time making good choices. And some of that is because um, they may have a lot of sadness. Some of it is because um, they haven't quite l learned yet how to deal with um, making a lot of choices in a day. And sometimes you get tired of making choices after choices and it's hard to keep making the choices. So everybody does it in their own way, just like everybody learns to read at a different pace, right? Some people learn to read like this. Some people learn how to throw a basketball like this. Some people learn how to make good choices like this, but for other people, it just might take a little bit longer. So, um, but we definitely see a correlation between, do you know what correlation means? Hmm. Let's see, what's a good way to describe correlation? It means that we notice when this happens, this also happens too. Cause and effect. Cause and effect, very good. So when there's a lot of kindness in a school, we notice a lot better behavior. When there's a lot of kindness in a school, we notice that our attendance let, um, is a lot better too. That um, almost all of our children here, except for maybe ones that are sick. That's a great thing. You think? Okay. Do you think if we spread kindness in our school, it will improve attendance and behavior? Ooh, let's see. I'm going to ask this back. Raise your hands if you think spreading kindness will improve my attendance at this school. Nice. Raise your hand if you think spreading kindness will actually make more people absent from school. All right. Raise your hand if you think spreading kindness will make um, other people, uh, make it easier for other people to make good choices. Yeah, I think that's huge. And raise your hand if you think being kind of people will make them make, make it harder for them to make good choices. 
I think I agree with you completely. I think spreading kindness is a good way to go. It'll help not just with our behavior, but it will help with our attendance too, and that is so important to us. Mm -hmm. Only reason you should be late is you're sick, mm -hmm. you have an appointment for something, mm -hmm. or you just got late because your phone didn't go off. That could be. It's so important to be here. We want you here and we miss you when you're gone. Right? And every day we're learning amazing things. So we want we want our children here. Okay, instead of asking questions right now, we're gonna see if Miss Mullenix has anything else she wants to share with us. Yes, I am so impressed with you guys. I think this is a great topic to discuss. I'm excited that you're talking about kindness and how to share it in our school. We as the grown-ups in the school have been talking about it too. And I love that the second grade is doing um, such hard work on it. It makes me very, very proud of you. Do you feel proud of yourselves too? I can't believe that our second graders are going to be the champions of kindness in this school. And, and I think that's fantastic. I'm very, very proud. So we just came, they just found out today about a competition that we're going to have what? in second grade. Really? Does someone want to share the competition with her? Um, Lily, can you share what the competition is going to be? Um, we're going to get kindness dollars and uh, every time like we're kind like earlier. Um, I helped Jameson pick up his box, and then we would take a kindness dollar and we would write what we did on it. That's amazing. So what is, what is the competition for the second graders? Uh, Let's let someone else share. Hank, do you want to share what the competition is? Do you remember? Go ahead. What? The, it's about the most, whoever has the most kindness. kindness. What are we doing this weekend with the kindness cash? What are we doing this weekend on this paper that I'm going to send home with you? What is going to go in this box? Ella. So they get to design what the kindness cash looks like. Wow, that is awesome. They're really excited about it. So we're gonna have a competition and then whoever gets wins gets to be in the display and in every <coughs> elementary classroom. Wow, is it okay if the front office gets kindness cash too? Yeah. So I see a lot of my friends being kind up there. And it's a great idea. Any extra kindness cash that I could give to my friends when I see them doing kind things, that would be great. I'm very proud of that project. That sounds amazing. Do we have any questions or comments for Ms. Mullenix? We have time for about one or two. I'm just about to. That is not for Ms. Mullenix. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, what's your question? Mm -hmm. I've got it. It's okay. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions or comments? Right here. Um, so, like, when you have a All the designers get to be the ones that deliver it. That's exciting. So everyone gets to participate, even the people that don't get chosen for the one that's going to be used. I would appreciate that. Thank you for thinking of us. Zoe. Nope. Okay. So <coughs> um, a note and they sign them in and sometimes they'll say we laid and we overslept or they might say there's traffic um, or sometimes somebody wasn't feeling well that morning and just need a little bit of extra time um, but I do know we have had children in the past that um, don't feel very happy coming to school because people weren't nice to them they felt people weren't nice to them so they would show up late a lot because it just they didn't want to come and their parents would kind of have to talk them into going every day which made them late and that just made my heart really sad for them, you know, because I want you to want to be here. I want you to be excited and look forward to seeing your friends and doing all the amazing things you do here. Um, and I wish that all our students would feel that way. Hey, do you remember what you were going to say? We have about 30 so, seconds. Yeah, have anyone just randomly died? Like, At the school? Yeah. No, not that I'm aware of. Okay. No. We're a pretty healthy bunch. We're a pretty good team. <laughs> Yes, but he was not here. You're correct. But we miss him. We have to wait in the car. Yes. So we can wait. Um, let's make sure that Zoe has speaker power. Jameson. 
Zoe's ready to speak. Can you give her speaker power? since this new school and I have found it to be extremely friendly. I don't remember when I was in second grade um, it being that friendly. Um, I had some friends, I did, but I had some friends that you know had trouble using kind words and um, using gentle hands. So um, I'm very excited what I see. I think this second grade class is amazing. I think that you all um, really value each other and respect each other and work well as a team. Um, a really good team, and, and that's exciting for me to see. It, it gives my heart much, much, much happiness. So I hope you like being here. And I hope you like your friends here. And I hope you encourage each other to be nice, because even one of you has a power to change someone's day. Let's say the entire team is just, you know, maybe just feel a little cross with somebody, but you have the power to look at that person and say, hey, I'm still your friend. Let's turn this around and have a good afternoon, yeah? Do you have that power? Absolutely. You absolutely do. Everyone does. All right, friends, what do we tell Miss Mullenix for coming and talking to us? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.